welcome back to the channel. Today we are here in Portland. If you haven't been following my journey, last week we had a week in New York. This week we're in New Portland, Seattle and Miami. We arrived here in Portland late last night from New York and we were feeling peckish and so we went to a nearby late night spot called Look Luck, which is a Vietnamese fusion kind of place and came back to the hotel to have that because the outdoor seating was closed by that time. It was super nice, um, super like cozy and like warm and everything because it's actually quite chilly here as well so soup was very appropriate and then went to bed so by the time we went to bed it was like 1 a.m which is like 3 a.m new york time so we were running on very little sleep but last night's sleep was amazing i'm feeling so good and refreshed and ready to tackle portland we are here for two days we'll be leaving tomorrow evening by train to seattle so that part of the journey should be fun as well. I hear that Portland's motto is let's keep Portland weird. So I'm excited to explore and just see what Portland is all about. We are staying here at the Dunaway Hotel by Hilton and it's super cute, super chic. We're also going to go back to Look Luck at some point because they've got such an amazing menu. Anyway, so lots to explore and lots to eat in just two days here in Portland. So let's get cracking guys. It's actually freezing! ages in this bookstore. It's supposed to be the largest independent bookstore in the English-speaking world. And then we just walked around window shopping and there were a lot of cute little artsy stores. So Portland and the Oregon region in general is known for like really nice hikes and trails. We managed to get ourselves to one that is near the city. We went to Forest Park and it was really beautiful. It was so relaxing and it really actually reminded me of New Zealand a lot so that was really nice. We also had some really delicious ice cream. This is Portland's very own salt and straw. Honestly, there was not very much else to do within the city and we didn't have enough time to go out of the city to do hikes or anything like that. So we checked out some gardens within the city itself. There was a Chinese garden, the Rose Test Garden, and as well as the Japanese garden, which we paid an entry fee for. It was really nice and relaxing.
see, we are just hopping from one food joint to another. Got some nice ube latte here. We had time to spare, so we visited Chinatown and went to the Wing Lug Museum of Asian Experience in America. So that was really cool.